In that state, he drifted to an otherworldly place where he came to learn the origin of ninjutsu. When ninjutsu, or rather ninshu, emerged, there were two brothers. The genius elder Indra and the aloof younger Ashura. Although Indra was an exceptionally skilled practitioner of ninshu, it was Ashura who was chosen as the next leader. Ashura practiced a way of life that valued the bonds between friends, and so he was recognized as the future of Ninchu. Indra, however, was unable to accept that decision and assaulted his brother. Thus began a conflict between brothers that stretched many long years. With this power, I will establish perfect order. I will forge a perfect world without strife. There is no place for such violence, elder brother. I do not wish to fight you. Tend to engage me in combat, as if you are worthy enough to be my opponent! and cooperation. Shinsu sends you veritable 1,000 on Kanon! Oh, why must you do this? You were once so kind-hearted, Elder Brother. Ashura and Indra. Although their physical forms perished, the chakra they generated was reborn countless times without ever disappearing. And so, in the current age, the younger brother Ashura was reborn as Naruto, while the elder brother Indra was reborn as Sasuke. Chakra should not be used to amplify the power of only one individual. If power is concentrated in any one person, they will lose control and ultimately be possessed by that power, just as happened with Madara in the current age. Learning the origin of ninjutsu, Naruto gained renewed determination to fight for his friends. <laughs> <laughs> 